A growing city had a population of 500,000 in 2005. In 2010, the population was 760,000. We want to assume exponential growth and then express the population after t years as a function of t, predict the population in 2025, and then determine in which year the population will reach 1 million. So we want to start by finding the exponential function that's going to model this population. So we'll be using this exponential function here, where p of t would be the population after a certain number of years, p sub zero or p naught would be the initial population, k would be the exponential growth rate, and t would be the time in years. So let's start by finding the exponential function for this population. So when we read these first two sentences, the starting population would be 500,000, so p sub zero or p naught is equal to 500,000. This is in 2005. And then in 2010, the population was 760,000, so p of t would be equal to 760,000. And then from 2005 to 2010, that's a span of five years, so t is going to be equal to five. So now we'll perform substitution into our exponential function and then solve for k, our exponential growth rate. So we want to solve the equation 760,000 equals 500,000 times e raised to the power of k times t, but since t is five, we'll have five k. Now we want to solve this exponential equation for k. So we'll first isolate the exponential part, so we'll divide both sides by 500,000. This simplifies to one. And then on the left side of 760,000 divided by 500,000, which is equal to 1.52. So we have 1.52 would equal e to the power of 5k. And now since we have base e here, instead of taking the common log of both sides, we'll take the natural log of both sides. And now on the right side, we can apply the power property of logarithms to move this 5k to the front. So now we'd have natural log 1.52 equals 5k times natural log e, but natural log e is equal to one. Remember if we have natural log e, this is log base e, and since e raised to the first power is equal to e, this is equal to one. So this simplifies to one, so to solve this for k, we just need to divide both sides by five. Of course, we could divide both sides by natural log e, but again, that's just equal to one, so it's not gonna change anything. So we have k is equal to this quotient, which we'll have to get our decimal approximation for. So we have natural log of 1.52 divided by five. And the more decimal places that we use for k, the more accurate our answer is going to be. Let's go ahead and take this out to six decimal places. So we'll have 0 0.083742. And now we have our exponential function that's going to model this population. We'll have p of t is equal to the initial population of 500,000 times e raised to the power of 0 0.083742 times t, where t is going to be the number of years after the year 2005. So let's take this function back to the previous screen. Just keep in mind that t is the number of years after our base year of 2005. So to predict the population in 2025, well, 2025 minus the base year of 2005 would be 20. So we want to find p of 20 to approximate the population in the year 2025. So now we'll go back to the calculator and approximate this value. Second natural log brings up e raised to the power of 
point zero eight three seven four two times twenty. This would be our exponent on e, and so the population is going to be approximately two million six hundred sixty eight thousand nine hundred seventy one if we round to the nearest person. Now for the last question, they want to know in what year will the population reach one million? So we want to substitute one million for p of t and solve for t. So we'll have one million equals 500,000 e raised to the power of 0 0.083742t. So we're going to isolate the exponential part, so we'll divide both sides by 500,000. This simplifies to 1, this would be 2, so we have 2 equals e raised to this exponent. And just as we did before, we'll now take the natural log of both sides of the equation and then apply the power property of logarithms. So we'll move this exponent to the front of the logarithm. So we'll have natural log 2 equals 0 0.083472t times natural log e, but as we showed before, natural log e simplifies to 1. So to solve this for t, we just need to divide by this decimal coefficient. Again, this simplifies to 1. So let's go back to the calculator. This quotient would be the value of t, which would be the number of years after 2005. So I can see that t is approximately 8.28 .8 years. So this would be 8.28 .8 years after the year 2005. And since the base year is the year 2005, 2005 plus 8.28 .8 means that the population would reach 1 million during the year 2013. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.